I was showing a friend a funny thing today. I'm Django testing bottle openers to see what happens to the coating on them uh, when they get beaten up. And they asked if it was an accurate test. And in reality, it sort of is. Some of you know, I used to be part of the advanced product development team at Oakley, and we basically had to make ideas real. And that meant endless, endless hours in the test lab, burning things, breaking things, bending things, shooting things like it was just insanity. But it reminded me of one specific trip to Argentina that I took with a gang of guys who were developing the flight deck goggle, which is still, I I think Oakley's most successful goggle and is still being run in the Olympics. It involved two lenses that were gasketed together with this piece of tape in a really innovative way to make the goggle frameless. I was quite scared of this lens getting flattened during a crash. We had loads of things in the lab that involved an Instrom head coming down and it would flatten the lens. Never quite content because it felt like that was very perfect, very, very uniform. It didn't have <coughs> jangle test to it. I sucked at skiing in comparison to everybody else at Oakley because they were bloody brilliant. So I was nominated as crash test dummy. I literally run in something for Pablo Escobar, got strapped up with goggles all around me inside my Oakley ski jacket and I basically got told to crash. I had them everywhere on me and I just, I fucking crashed all the time and they still work today. So like, I think, I think they were all right.